I first came across Flo Florence um, from my respiratory nurse, Kareen Clark. Um, she wanted me on the programme after um, a really bad asthma attack I took, um, where, where I nearly died. There is certainly a cohort of asthma patients who I was losing sleep over and I was worried about how they were self-managing their condition. She wanted me to, to be able to monitor my asthma better as I'm in a more rural area. Um, she can look at it every day, she can uh, monitor me all the time, she can send me little reminders of my appointments. What we needed to do as healthcare professionals was really think outside the box as to how we could get our patients to engage with us more effectively as healthcare professionals and get them to look after their condition and actually more importantly is to get them to recognise when they're needing to seek urgent medical attention. It really just does give you um, a view of how your breathing is doing, how your asthma is doing. Um, I don't want my little girl to grow up without a dad. I don't want that to happen again. You know, I don't want that. That, that was a scary, scary attack. I just woke up in my friend's house, couldn't breathe. If it wasn't for me being half an hour closer to the hospital than I usually would be at home, the paramedics and then Kareen and, and, and the medical staff in the hospital, I wouldn't be here. With the aid of the Florence Telehealth system, we developed a protocol so that they are messaged via their mobile phone on a twice daily basis, asking them to enter their peak flow reading. This allows me to map trends of this patient's condition over the weeks and months, and I can actually contact them directly via text message should I notice points of concern on their trends. It's made me think about it, it's made me text in, it's made me, you know, realise what my breathing is doing from day to day. Showing me how irregular it was when I came out of hospital. This was before my asthma attack, you can see how, how variable my breathing would be, I suppose. Compared to now, how regular, how, you know, there's nothing wrong with it now. So I, it's kept me out of hospital. The clever part of Florence is that they have an electronic asthma plan in the background <clears throat> which actually tells them, depending on what they input via text message, she will then respond with the appropriate advice. So I've texted in my peak flow reading and then you get a text, a text back usually um, with what, whatever zone thanks you're in zone one. So it's not an emergency response service and we stress that to the patients when we enrol them on the protocol. It's a tool to help them self-manage their condition because they're the ones that know their, their symptoms. So I used to be in and out of hospital all the time with my breathing I could never keep it in check. I used to have days or, or a certain time off work. You know, um, I have had hospital stays in the past where I've been like a week in hospital because of my health and stuff. Hopefully, February when that happened will be the last. That's very high for me um, this morning, which is, which is looking good. From a clinician's perspective, it allows me to re remotely monitor a wider number of patients without me having to call them to a precious outpatient clinic appointment which notoriously my colleagues across the country will tell you that the asthma population are frequent non-attenders at, at clinic appointments. Certainly since we've started Florence in February nobody that we have enrolled on, on the, the protocol has either been admitted to hospital or has failed to attend an appointment at my clinic. So certainly the engagement with, with our services has improved tenfold since we started this.